All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the full details and animations for the new Dokkan Fest Berserk Kale, who I am surprisingly kind of excited for now because initially when I first heard that Kale was going to be the next Dokkan Fest, I was like, eh, all right, that's fine, I guess, but it didn't really do anything for me, you know, but you know, over time, as I thought about it more, I realized that Kale does deserve her own Dokkan Fest. I mean, of all the new characters introduced in Dragon Ball Super, she eventually became one of my favorites. Like, at first, at first, I found her mad annoying. But then later on, after she went berserk, and I realized she's basically Universe X Broly, she uh, definitely grew on me. So anyways, with all that said, let's find out what she does and how good she actually is. But before we get into the details, we gotta start with the animations. So let me just quickly pause the music here and throw on some earbuds. Okay. And here we go. Okay, okay, um, that was really good. That was really solid. Uh, Kale's animations, I think, are, you know, like an 8 out of 10. Um, nothing super hype for me personally. My favorite part of what we just watched, actually, was this little uh, Frieza shuffle right here. It just made me laugh. Uh, let me just quickly go to that part. Once. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Um, but yeah, Kale's animations, I think, are... Uh, you know, just fine, right? But overall, as a character, she's still not like the most hyped character to me, so I don't think it's gonna get me that excited. But uh, I really like the Berserk Kale stuff. Obviously, major Broly vibes because she's basically U6 Broly. Um, so, love that. Uh, active skill, good. And uh, super attack after the transformation, also good. So, there you go, those are the animations for the Kale and also the side unit, which is the um, uh, Frieza and Frost, right? So now let's pop over to the uh, official Dokkan Battle Wiki page. And I didn't actually know they did translations like this, but apparently they do. So a big shout out to the DBZ Dokkan Wiki Twitter page. Obviously, go follow them if you guys haven't done so. And uh, thank you to them for providing the translations here. So starting with the uh, AGL Berserk Kale, her leader skill is U6 or Transformation Boost, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for allies who also belong to the Universe 6, 
or sorry, uh, universe survival saga or full power categories. So obviously, um, transformation boost is a great category. Universe six is a lot more limited, right? It's not the best category at the moment, but obviously in the future that could change for now, kind of limited uh, for her additional boost categories. Um, yeah, Universe Survival Saga and Full Power make sense, but I think as far as units that get the full 200% boost from her leader skill, the pool is going to be maybe a little bit limited at the moment, right? So leader skill wise, it's not terrible, but it's not the best for now, for now. Uh, moving on to her super attack, it greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage, and her passive is... Attack and defense plus 160% plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. High chance of launching an additional super attack and then reduces damage received by 20% with each super attack performed up to 60%. And that's within the turn, right? So if she launches three uh, attacks, sorry, three super attacks within that turn, then she's getting 60% damage reduction for that turn and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 160 percent and great chance of launching an additional super attack when there is another universe six category ally attacking in the same turn so uh that's her passive and dude she is a monster the only thing you can take away um or the only negative i guess you can take away is that she is not going to be a good slot one unit she needs to get those attacks off to build her damage reduction and build her defense on her passive right so uh yeah not a great slot one unit but in slot two she is gonna be tanky as hell man she's gonna be uh one of the better tanks in the game after she launches some supers and of course she has the ability to launch three supers for, for her passive alone and then of course from the hidden potential she can launch another super so up to four supers in a turn uh she's getting a huge attack and defense boost so she's gonna be doing some good damage um getting a lot of defense getting that up to 60% damage reduction. So uh, just really, really good, really impressive all around. And uh, yeah, that's all we have to talk about for the Berserk uh, Kale. Now let's move on to the Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Or actually before that, we have the active skill, which uh, transforms her into Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Can be activated starting from the fourth turn when there's an ally whose name includes Khalifla attacking on the same turn or after performing six or more super attacks in battle which um essentially can get after two appearances right so even if you don't have the khalifla it's not going to be that hard to get the transformation but ideally you'll have khalifla because i mean she'll probably link the best with a khalifla unit anyways right so it makes sense to uh, run her with a khalifla or a kale and khalifla uh links are battlefield diva berserker Saiyan Lineage, Warriors of Universe 6, Prepare for Battle, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Peppy Gals, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Universe 6, uh, Super Saiyan 2, Exploding Rage, Rapid Growth, Miraculous Awakening, Bond of Friendship, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Now, for the uh, Super Saiyan 2 kill, new super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes immense damage, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 30%. And then passive is defense plus 100% for 6 turns from start of turn. Attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional attack, uh, attack plus 120% when performing a super attack launches 2 additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance, a 30% chance of becoming a super attack. High chance to guard all attacks. And then attack and defense plus 60% for 3 turns after receiving an attack plus an additional defense plus 160% and guards all attacks when your team has another universe 6 category ally attacking in the same turn and obviously that's most likely going to be the case because once again she's going to link the best with kale and khaliflas or uh, khaliflas so uh, it just makes sense to run you know u6 units with her right and uh, the new links i think the only one that changes is super saiyan um yeah super saiyan is the new category sorry new uh link otherwise everything else remains the same so uh that is the kale guys um she is awesome in my opinion like from what i see on paper right now she is one of the more impressive dokkan fs units we've seen um recently and uh 
I don't, I, I can't find that many flaws with her, honestly. I mean, the only thing you can say is, yeah, she's not going to be a good slot one unit uh, as Berserk Kale, but then once she transforms, she becomes a much better slot one unit because she has the guaranteed guard when you have uh, a U6 ally on rotation, right? So, yeah, she's just, she's a monster, man. I mean, I expect it as much, but... She's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. So that is the Kale. Now let's quickly just go over the details for the uh, Frieza and Frost. So leader skill is, uh, oh, I guess it's just Frost. You got the Frieza in the art, but uh, yeah, the actual unit is just a final form Frost. So leader skill, uh, transformation boost, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And then passive is, sorry, unit super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. Seal super attack with a high chance of stunning the enemy can be activated when there is a Frieza unit attacking in the same turn. So that super attack is really good. Um, you got both the seal and the possibility of stun. Uh, greatly raising attack and defense is nice, um, and then, you know, having Frieza in the same turn makes sense, considering, you know, it's the unit super attack with the two of them, right? And then passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 160 when performing a super attack. Uh, transformation boost category allies, key plus 1, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional attack, defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% for allies, uh, who also belong to the Universe Survival Saga category. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack and attacked enemies attack minus 20% for two turns with another transformation boost category ally attacking in the same turn plus an additional attack plus 160% when the target enemy is debuffed. Links are universe's most malevolent, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, coward, tournament of power, universe six, warriors of universe six and fierce battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Universe 6, and Transformation Boost. Um, so, good support unit. Uh, that's essentially all there is really to say about him. Uh, otherwise, pretty standard um, non-Dokan Fest like banner unit, I would say. Uh, he doesn't really stand out too much in any way, if I'm being honest. Like, he's just fine. He's just fine. I like the support, though. Uh, up to, yeah, attack and defense plus 40%, and also a 10% crit chance uh, boost for Universe Survival Saga and Transformation Boost units. So, uh, yeah, that's really good. Otherwise, um, just fine. It's just fine. Not much to say. So, that is the upcoming release, guys, for the Berserk Kale. Um, she is pretty amazing in my opinion like i am quite impressed by the kale so uh, like i said i'm a lot more excited for this unit now than i thought i would have been a couple days ago when we first actually it was yesterday right like a day ago when we first saw the in-game preview and now i definitely want to add her to my collection so uh i'll probably do at least one summoning video on the jp side for kale so stay tuned for that uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about her. Uh, are you as impressed as I am? Because I think she's really, really good, guys. Like, <laughs> of course, I have to see some in-game performance, but just based on the on-paper details, she is just a beast, man. I mean, she definitely lives up to uh, being Broly's successor, I guess. Um, I still love Broly more, obviously, but <laughs> she's, she's pretty awesome, man. So... Uh, that's the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you'll want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.